The Everglades are the only source of safe, clean drinking water for more than 8 million people. That means the health of 8 million of our friends, family, neighbors, is often put at risk in the name of big sugar profit. The kids are sitting in the classrooms and the cane is right up against the gate where they play at. So they have their windows open, the streams open, the blinds open, and it burns. And they burn, but they don't warn and say, okay, we'll be burning today, or we'll be spraying pesticide today. So the kids get to witness, witness the fire. So the kids say, no, I'm ready to go home. I want you to call mommy, I want you to call daddy. We want to go home because they're afraid that the school finna burn up, the brand new school. And in four years time, I'm not even seeing a quarter of the wildlife out there that I should be seeing. And that is a big indicator of loss of environment and something is very wrong out there and I see it. We pay for it in green slime catastrophes. We pay for it in stalled Everglades restoration efforts that get more expensive every day. We pay for it in the health and well-being of our kids who breathe smoke and pollution from sugar burning. They are Florida's biggest polluter. And they're the ones who refuse to help. I'm not coming up against the sugar mill to make them close down, uh, take away jobs. I'm just asking that they be a good neighbor. This is a major uh, theme of our conference today is to unite uh, those of us who are fighting for the environment, those who are fighting to protect their communities together in one movement so that we can become the winners. And we all have to pull together and stand up for our right as Floridians to have a clean environment that does not poison us and our children. Our majestic Everglades are dying. Please hurry. I have two jobs and three small children and I go to bed at 3 o'clock at night because I work all the time. But I'm here to help you and I hope you help me because I don't want to leave this to my kids. When we are on one accord about something, it is powerful and a movement has to take its place when you're on one accord. <laughs>